Many of the people that I work with often come to me early on in the sessions and say, Ashley, I don't have a good ear for accents. I, I can't tell the, the difference, uh, the physical difference about what's happening inside of my mouth. I can't feel it. And they say it with real fear, as if there are only a certain number of people who uh, have this natural facility and will be able to change their speech. You know, those that do have a good ear and can feel the differences. And there's certainly a lot of research out there about this, about accent acquisition and early language learning, for instance, or the relationship between it and music um, or imitation. And, and I think it's true, there are some people, uh, quite annoyingly, that do have this uh, natural facility and some people who really struggle. And those people who struggle often express to me how, uh, you know, a curiosity about how actors do it. And, and I work with a lot of actors and, and, and it's true that many of them do have this natural facility, but many of them don't. And they come to me with exactly the same fears. You know, I, I don't have a good ear for accents or I can't feel what's happening inside of my mouth. I can't tell the differences in pronunciation. And what I know to be true from having done this coaching for, for almost 10 years and worked with hundreds of people is that the essential skills are um, the ability to observe, the ability to imitate, and a physical awareness. And the great thing is that those skills are innate. Uh, we're born with them. I mean, for instance, between the ages of naught and four, we really rely on those skills as a way to learn to crawl or learn to uh, walk or learn to talk or play. And maybe it's, the, it's those people who, those children who have relied on those ways of learning um, into adulthood who continue to have this natural facility for changing their speech and, and, and modifying their accent. Um, I think what's sad is that, you know, we often, you know, we do have natural preferences in terms of the way that we learn, but what, what I think is sad is that, you know, we're often told that we learn in a certain way and then we sort of just buy into that as the only way that we can learn. You know, in, in England, for instance, children are often told you're a kinesthetic learner or you're an auditory learner or you're a visual learner. And, and, and it's true to a degree that we have these natural preferences, but, you know, if we buy into that as a sort of narrative that, that I can only learn as a kinesthetic learner or as an auditory or visual learner, then, then maybe what happens is that we we rely on that too heavily and we neglect those other um, skills, those other ways of learning. So, and that can set up real fear about, you know, approaching a new subject or approaching a new activity that somehow we think, oh, we're not going to be able to do that because we only learn in a, in a certain way. And so most of my coaching or a lot of my coaching initially is about encouraging people or persuading people that the skills they need are innate, they're inborn, they do have them, they just need waking up, you know, they need rehabilitating. And, um, you know, but that relies on the learner being willing, willing to let go of that old story, that old narrative, and buy into a new narrative that says, you know, maybe I can hear differences in pronunciation and I, I can feel the differences and I, I might have a good ear or at least an ear that can be developed. So I guess that's a question for you. I wonder whether you could let go of the old negative self-talk that's, that's sort of stopping you from really moving into these uh, new skills or, or rehabilitating those new skills and, uh, and allow them to be nourished and developed so that you can change and modify your speech and your pronunciation. Uh, if you're watching this video anywhere else other than my website at englishpronunciationroadmap.com, head over there. There's, um, there's some free downloads. There's a load more videos that you can have a look at. Um, remember to scroll down right now, uh, leave a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't really mind, just give me some kind of reaction and, uh, and I'll see you soon.